hi guys welcome back to my channel oh my god it's been so long since i filmed a video it feels so good to be sitting in this chair i finally have had a moment to film and do the whole shebang so i'm so sorry i've been away for two months i know okay this is gonna sound so repetitive if you watch my last like three or four videos i know i said i didn't want my job and like school and stuff to affect me doing youtube but apparently it did and i'm so 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 sorry but one thing i do want to say is thank you so much to all of my loyal followers subscribers supporters all of that stuff on all of my social media i've noticed that my instagram um you know followers has gone up tremendously from what it was you know a couple months ago um and i noticed that my subscribers keep gaining and gaining like the number keeps growing and growing and i just want to say thank you guys so 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 much for that because even though i've been away you guys have still been slaying my views and slaying my you know numbers and whatnot so yeah I'm just so excited to finally be sitting down and filming for you guys once again. So yeah, let's get into this video. Right. So, at the beginning of this year, at the beginning of 2016, I said that every single month I was going to film a favorites video, like a normal person would. But of course, me being the, I don't even know what to call myself, that I am, um, I missed, I think the last one I did was like in July, so I missed like August. September no maybe I did miss July I don't know I have to go back and look whatever so I wanted to kind of do a whole summer beauty favorites thing because like the months that I've missed are in the summer obviously um so yeah I just kind of wanted to go around saying a couple of things that I got um I'm not gonna lie everything here is basically eyeshadows and lipsticks and lip glosses because i don't change my routine y'all know that i'm obsessed with maybelline fit me matte and poreless i got my um maybelline fit me concealer like these are holy grails right here so i'm not changing that anytime soon um but yeah let's just get right into the video so i can show you guys my summer favorites Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about are some eyeshadows because I'm going to leave my lip products until the end because there's quite a few. So I'm going to talk about um, the eyes. This one is a palette from Icing. It is called the Free Spirit uh, Palette. This is what it looks like. Okay, so this color is what I bought this whole palette for look at that look at how beautiful that is excuse excuse my nails you can see them on the bottom um yeah i don't even know what to say about that but here is a swatch of that beauty oh my god the camera does not do it justice honestly you guys it's so 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 beautiful it's like honestly anything shimmery metallic-y glittery is coming home with me okay the next thing um that i have is a sephora collection eyeshadow it's in the color lucky penny these are ten dollars at sephora look at how amazing that is oh my god look at that oh my god the camera does not do this justice i'm so upset okay so the next thing i want to talk about is this um little like Z palette, this baby Z palette that I customized with all of my favorite Coastal Scents shadows. I actually bought this Z palette at Sephora for $10. And um, then I was like, I need something to fill it with. So I just waited until CoastalScents.com um, had a sale. And uh, the, eyeshadows, the eyeshadow little pots were $0.99. Cents, so how could I not get like 20 of them? And then I realized that they didn't fit. So I have some overflow and I put it in some drawers. But yeah, this has been my go-to eyeshadow palette this entire summer. I have yet to try these green ones. But I'm trying to figure out a way how I can incorporate them on this face. Because they swatch so beautifully. So, oh oh my god i have not swatched that green one in a long time so and then this one is literally my favorite thing in the entire world look at that pure golden bronzy beautifulness okay let's get back to reality okay let's talk about face because there are a few 
face products. Um, the first thing I want to talk about that I've been loving this whole summer, and I need to actually go out and get a new one, is this NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer. It looks like this. I think it was like $5. I love this because it evens out your skin tone. After I put this on my face, literally I feel like I don't even have to wear makeup. Like I don't have to, you know, do eyeshadow. I don't have to do anything. So this is what it looks like. It is a little bit metallic-y and has like some... Uh, shimmer and looks like some glitter in it but it I love it because it just gives your face like this fresh just a woken up like amazing look um, and then it doesn't come through when once you apply foundation so is bomb.com and for five dollars girl get your life and then the next thing for the face I'm gonna talk about is um, I got a PR package from uh, hourglass and influencer and um, it was the new Vanish Seam the Stick foundation that everyone is like raving about. Like all of the, um, how do you call it? All of these beauty gurus on here, the Jacqueline Hills, the Nicole Guerreros are talking about it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what it looks like. So like this, maybe now you know what I'm talking about. Um, the only thing was for me... I got it in the wrong shade like look <laughs> look at how different that is oh my god if I could go back and pick a new shade like I totally would um, but what I've actually been using this for is to cover up my blemishes and like dark spots that I have on my face just to give myself like a nicer cleaner complexion because it is medium to full coverage but it is more on the full coverage side girl so if you can get this I'm telling you that you need it also in the PR package came the brush this brush is so amazing I don't know if I've talked about this in a previous video um, I feel like I have but maybe not this brush is so dense that you don't even lose product like literally when I put this on sometimes I'll use this concealer because it's so light and I'll just like pat it right here and it covers everything it looks like i've been sleeping my entire life like that have no dark circles no redness on my cheeks nothing it is so bomb.com i actually haven't used it in a minute but today it's in the video so <laughs> okay let's move on so the next things i'm going to talk about are all lip products and they're all of the kylie cosmetics most of them are of the Kylie Cosmetic um, variety. Um, but first, I'm going to start off with the ones that are not Kylie Cosmetics. Okay. For like a week or two, probably just a week, I was on like this binge of like Sephora lip products. So every time I would go into Sephora, I would buy a lip product. I don't know why I would do that. Because honestly, I'm broke right now and this is why. Okay, so the first lip product that I bought is this um, Urban Decay something I know that this has a name I know it's the one that like Ruby Rose is advertising for I don't know what it's called though I threw away the box um but it is Urban Decay and this one is in the color Carnal it looks like this I love this color so much my friend made me get it and I love her because she knows me <laughs> um yeah this is so beautiful and it's so creepy and it is a comfort matte I think they have another one that's like an even more matter matte than this one but this is just so amazing and it was like 17 bucks so at the time I was like I don't need 17 dollars but now I do that same trip I got a Too Faced melted liquefied long wear lipstick this one is in the color nude because you know your girl loves nude this one is like the spongy applicator one like this I don't know if you can see then you squeeze it oh I squeeze that a lot this is what that looks like it's a pretty pink nude I am on the hunt for a brown nude like amazing nude um liquid lipstick or like any lipstick honestly I don't even care if it's like shimmer or anything um I just want like a nude a brown nude lipstick so if y'all know any brown nude lipsticks out there and you want to help a homegirl out like just comment them down below honestly because I literally thought that this one and the next one that I'm about to show you were going to be the perfect nudes but 
they're a little too pink the other one that i have is a Too faced melted matte because i don't know why tati just had to go out and buy a 20 dollar lipstick um you know this one is a little bit it's only i only regret this product buying this product because it doesn't smell good and i don't really wear it but i love it like i love <laughs> Like, I love the color. This is what it looks like. It, I don't know why I was on a binge for Melted Cosmetics and Sephora and Urban K and whatnot. Because now I'm broke and, you know, it's okay though. It's okay. My lips always look popping. It's okay. Alright, guys. So now to the main attraction. I have a problem. Okay? If you guys don't know me, I have a makeup problem. Okay? But now if you know me intimately and like deeply then you know I have a Kylie cosmetics problem because I just want everything from there honestly if that eyeshadow palette was not $42 it would be in my house already first I want to talk about the birthday edition Kylie matte liquid lipstick like set thing the little mini lipsticks let me tell you guys the trip I took to get these the first time she had the birthday collection it sold out in what like negative 100 seconds yeah, so I couldn't get anything. The second time, it sold out again, so I couldn't get anything. I was so, I was literally so depressed because I didn't have these lipsticks because this is all I wanted because I think that this was like $36, um, or was it $46? I don't even remember. But I was like, yes, yeah, six lipsticks, you know, for $46, whatever, like it's so bomb, whatever. Then the queen, Queen Kylie, King Kylie, whatever the heck she wants to be called, decided to do a third um bundle like birthday thing birthday edition whatnot she decided to bring them out again so i was like i need i need to get it like if i don't get it i'm gonna be so disappointed in my life so i went on i set like three alarms and i got them i ordered my mini lipsticks so this is what they look like so we have um Exposed, Dolce, Coco, uh, no wait, yeah, Coco, Candy, Kristen, and Leo. Let me just swatch these real quick because for those of you who don't have, oh my god, and I just broke the box. Oh my god, I open these every single day and I never break them, break the box. So bad. Okay, so this is what my little minis look like. They're so tiny, I swear. This is what an actual tube looks like, and this is what... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me just swatch them real quick. So, if I can... Okay. These are all of... Except this one. These are all of the swatches of her liquid... Or the mini liquid lipstick set. This is Coco, Dolce, Kristen, Exposed, Candy, and Leo. Can we talk about Leo for a second? Honestly, honest to God, that is my favorite one. Let's talk about some actual full-size lipsticks. When I saw that she had launched an exposed individual, her individuals, I had to get it. So that was the first one that I got. So this is what exposed looked like. Then she did free shipping. Remember the time that she did free shipping? Yeah, I couldn't control myself. So I got brown sugar exposed on the top and brown sugar on the bottom then i ordered her glosses i did get the good ones the little ones yeah i did get those i was only supposed to get so cute and literally i went my mind triggered my hands to was order so cute and like yeah because like is the darker one so um yeah she has a light one a medium one and then a darker one and i ordered the light one and the darkest one when i really just wanted the middle one and the first one so i ended up having to do two orders just so i can get literally which is the medium one i ended up giving the darkest one to my mom so that's why i don't have it to swatch for you guys all right you guys now after talking about those lipsticks and my sad sad obsession we are done with this video. I'm really sorry that I didn't film for two months, but I'm back. And as always, all of my contact info will be down in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let's try to get to like 10 thumbs up. I know 10 for a lot of people on YouTube seems like nothing, but like to me, it would mean the world to me if my video got like 10, 15 likes. Like, I'm just saying. 
think that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I love you guys so much, and I will definitely, definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye!